What's up, everybody? It's me, Joey P, Joe Pizzopia, back with another Betting Pros video here, brought to you, of course, by BetMGM, the king of sports books. And today, we're going to take one more look at the Super Bowl. The big game is this Sunday. The Chiefs and the Eagles will square off. That's one last chance for us to bet NFL for at least now. Yes, we're going to have draft coverage coming up. And of course, before you know it, the lines will be back up for a 2023 season. But we're going to close the door on this past season with the Super Bowl. So let's finish strong. Here are my top 10 Super Bowl bets for Super Bowl 57. Number 10, Jalen Hurts under 31 and a half passing attempts, minus 108 over at FanDuel. In the playoffs, Jalen Hurts has thrown the ball just 49 times in two games. That's an average of 24 and a half attempts per game. Now, I recognize that the Niners and Giants didn't necessarily push Jalen Hurts to his limit to throw the football. But let's also not forget that the Chiefs are going to get after the quarterback, making it pretty tough for him to complete a ton of passes in this game. So even if there's an uptick, that 31 and a half or even 32 and a half in some other books is also available for you to go and hit that under. Number nine, Kenneth Gainwell over 10 and a half receiving yards, minus 114 on FanDuel. The Eagles know that they need to get Kenneth Gainwell the ball in this game, especially with that pass rush I just mentioned to the Kansas City Chiefs. You got to get rid of the ball quickly and efficiently, and that's where dump offs to Kenneth Gainwell come into play. 10 and a half is a small number. We always love the small numbers. Yeah, the juice is minus 114, but this is one you can lock in and possibly put with a few other wagers, create a nice little parlay with this over on the 10 and a half receiving yards for Kenneth Gainwell of the Eagles. Number eight, A.J. Brown, under 72 and a half receiving yards, minus 114 at FanDuel. So far in the playoffs, A.J. Brown has caught just 50% of the balls thrown his way and earned just 50 yards on seven catches. Now, A.J. Brown is a wonderful talent, but if the Eagles do come out flat a little bit after this layoff, the 72 and a half under is looking pretty good potentially. As you can tell, kind of writing a narrative here of where the Eagles are going to be based on where that Kansas City defense is going to be rushing the quarterback. And A.J. Brown might not be the receiver of choice, might look more like a Devonta Smith, the Kenneth Gainwell kind of offense for the Super Bowl. And that would leave A.J. Brown looking like an under for the 72 and a half. Number seven, Travis Kelsey over 77 and a half receiving yards, minus 115 over at BetMGM. There's no more consistent guy on the field when it comes to Travis Kelsey. He is the go-to target for Patrick Mahomes. And the biggest weakness of the Philadelphia defense, which is very good, is that linebacking core. If you can get Travis Kelsey mismatched on one of those guys more than once in this game, you're looking at an over on the 77 and a half and possibly some big plays too. In the playoffs, Kelsey's caught 21 of 25 balls thrown his way, and he's earned 176 yards, averaging 8.4 yards per catch in the process. So look to go over on the 77 and a half with Travis Kelsey in this one. Number six, Isaiah Pacheco, anytime touchdown score, plus 180 at BetMGM. Isaiah Pacheco is at plus 110 to score a touchdown at FanDuel, plus 125 at DK, but BetMGM, our partner of the show, is holding Pacheco to score at plus 180, so bet it there. That's the beauty of betting pros. Not only what the best bets are, but where the best place to find them is as well. Isaiah Pacheco could certainly get into the end zone in this game, not once, but twice. But let's try to get that one in there for the plus 180 at BetMGM and see if we can ride that touchdown to some big cash on Sunday. Speaking of the Kansas City Chiefs running back, number five, Isaiah Pacheco over 45 and a half rushing yards at points bet. Now, Isaiah Pacheco right now on the prop bet cheat sheet is projected at 57 and a half rushing yards. That's pretty substantially over. In fact, 12 yards over the rushing prop of 45 and a half. So go lock that in at points bet when you can for Isaiah Pacheco because you figure they're going to have to continue to run that ball to keep Jalen Hurts and that offense off the field. Plus, the Eagles get off to the quarterback as well, so you want to soften that front by running the football, and Pacheco's been the guy that they've wanted to run the football with throughout this last part of the season. Number four, time of possession, Kansas City Chiefs, plus 116. Now, the time of possession in the game is not something a lot of people necessarily gravitate to, but this is about efficiency of offense, control, 
also the been there before factor. And let's face it, the Kansas City Chiefs have, I think the Kansas City Chiefs stand a good spot to get this possession of the football at plus 116 over a fan duel. So I think it's a really solid bet at the end of the day. I think they're going to be more proficient, more efficient, but also very clear of how they are managing the clock to keep Jalen Hurts and some of those big weapons of the Eagles off of the football field. Number three, the Gatorade color. Yellow, green, or lime, plus 114 over at FanDuel. I know what you're saying, this is stupid. Well, is it though, when you really think about it? Cause let's dive a little deeper. You're getting yellow slash green slash lime. So technically it's really like three different versions if you're right. Plus the Eagles probably going to have the green. And if you went back and did your homework like I did the last time the Kansas City Chiefs won, they poured green Gatorade all over our good friend Andy Reid and you know how NFL teams are superstitious yeah I think they are so look for that plus 114 on that color of the Gatorade baby a fun bet hey look it doesn't have to all be analysis stuff we can have some fun with the Super Bowl Patrick Mahomes under 292 and a half passing yards at FanDuel at minus 114 now look Patrick Mahomes is probably going to put up a pretty fancy number here but I think it's the balance of the offense in the Chiefs that wins out at the end of the day, and that's the script I'm writing. We talked about the time of possession. We talked about Isaiah Pacheco. So getting closer to a 300-yard game for Mahomes doesn't seem like it's necessary for them to win the game. In fact, that sounds to me like they're playing from behind. If the Kansas City Chiefs are in the driver's seat for this game, look for Mahomes to balance the offense and also rely on the run game with that angle still not being 100%. The projection for him is 278. The number is 292 and a half. I think it's going to be close, but I do think it's an under. And number one on the list, Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP over on FanDuel, plus 130. That's where you're getting the best number. Look, this is a way of saying the Chiefs are going to win the game. This is a way of saying the quarterback typically wins this award, and you're still getting a pretty nice number of plus 130 if you lock in Patrick Mahomes right now for Super Bowl MVP, his second Super Bowl MVP of his young career, which when all is said and done, could end up being one of the best quarterback careers of all time. Well, there you have it. Those are my top 10 bets for Super Bowl 57. You tell me what yours are or which one is your favorite. Drop a comment down below here on the YouTube channel and don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to Betting Pros on YouTube, youtube.com slash betting pros. It's the place to be. It's called BP. That'll do it for me, Joey P, because it's way too much rhyming. So enjoy the Super Bowl, make some money, and have some fun. And we'll see you next time, kids.